Biomechanics is uh, built on a foundation of mechanics from the field of physics, the study of force and motion and how forces lead to or regulate mo movement. We're typically looking at a situation where, where there's some failure between the human interacting and their environment. USA Diving has seen that biomechanics is extremely important. Morelli was the first individual who uh, looked at the, uh, the various segments of the body and saw how the muscles were acting uh, to make forces uh, at certain distances from the joints, so they, they were producing torques that produce movement. Biomechanics evolved um, to begin with primarily around sport. Mechanics is the science concerned with the effects of forces acting on objects. Kinematics is the branch of mechanics dealing with what motion looks like just by itself. In kinematics, we quantify things like position, velocity, and accelerations. The force is applied to a system. A system will move in accordance with Newton's three laws. The two factors that we can never get rid of and force everybody else to think at least a little bit biomechanically are gravity and friction. We have three types of motion. We talk about translation or straight line motion. We talk about second, rotation or motion around some axis. And third, we talk about a combination of these types of motion. If we think of linear displacement in a football game, offensive yardage is actually a measure of displacement in a specific direction. Sometimes I think of velocity as being the heart of the study of motion. If you can position your center of gravity correctly, you can gain the smallest tuck position or the smallest pipe position. And the smaller you are, the faster you're going to, to rotate. The moment of inertia is a number that tells you how difficult it is to get something rotating. And once it's rotating, how difficult it is to stop it from rotating. When dealing with internal forces, we're interested in uh, uh, force generation within the body, and that uh, is our muscles. One of the most important properties of muscle is that a muscle can make larger forces when it is not allowed to shorten at a fast rate. One of society's goals is, is health and wellness, and I think that's one of the areas biomechanics can certainly contribute in. With biomechanics, you can actually study what you're doing and make differences and see changes. A coach who does not use biomechanics is definitely putting his or her athletes at a disadvantage. As an athlete, I use biomechanics to help me gain a competitive edge. But I have seen um, improvement in performance in my athletes who have taken seriously what we say to them about biomechanics. Staying current with technology is a huge problem, especially with limited budgets. The goal, I think, for everybody is the same thing, and that's an, an enhanced quality of life. Movement is life. Therefore, anything that is done in biomechanics relative to movement contributes to the quality of life.